Manamekali thought for a while. Was the appearance he saw just a moment ago just an illusion? Or is it the appearance of a dream? If it's a dream, shouldn't it be sleeping? She touched herself, no, he didn't sleep. Isn't this the A opera room prepared for the young lady of Pavur? Her face looks good in the marble mirror. There is a candle burning. She stared at the wall opposite the mirror. She knew there was a secret door there. It can also be opened from outside, can also be opened from inside. Manamegala stood on the edge of the wall and put her ear to the wall and listened intently. The secret door that was wall to wall in that place was made of wood. So inside the hunting hall I heard something rustling. Manamegali slowly opened the secret door. She peeked into the hunting hall. A large part of the hall was covered in darkness. A small lamp was burning in one corner. Suddenly the light of the tiny lamp dimmed, and the next moment it shone as before. A figure seemed to cross in front of the light. That is why the lamp must have dimmed one moment and shone the next. The figure that obscured the lamp for a moment was its face the face he had seen in the mirror just before? Or is this also his mental disorder? She tapped her hand as she peered into the sky, who's there? She asked in a soft voice. A muffled voice answered. One of the bats took off from its hanging spot on the upper ceiling and flew away with a jive, clinging to another spot on the ceiling and hanging. Again a very, very slight coughing noise. As he stood under the moon cloud, he said, Come on Chandramati. She said in a loud voice. Why mother? Came the reply. Take the flashlight and come here at once. Said Manamekali. After a while a maid came with a lamp in her hand. This is where the lamp burns so well? Why, mother, the lamp. I had to go inside the hunting hall to see something. I heard a noise. The bat is fluttering, mother. What else is there going to be? No. I was looking into this marble mirror a moment ago. Suddenly I saw another face next to mine. What was that face like? Was it like Cupid's face? Was it like Arcuna's face? The maid smiled after saying that. What, Chandramati? Are you joking? No, no, mother. You said you often dream? Is he the one who just appeared in the mirror? Amandi, Chandramati. But it was very, very real. All women get paranoid like that once in a while, and you'll be like that in a day or two. If you see the prince from Kanji tomorrow, that old face will be completely forgotten. Let it be. Now let's go and see this hunting hall, come. Vain work, mother. A single dusty sari in the hunting hall goes to waste. Let's go. Cough and sneeze tomorrow when everyone comes. Just come, you must check the hunting hall now, take the lamp without shaking it. Saying this, Manamegali entered the hunting hall. Her friend followed her with a lamp. Both came looking around. Chandramati came looking only at the lifeless animals above the lamp in her hand. Sometimes she saw the hourglass or the ground. She noticed footprints all over the dust on the floor. Mom, there. Said Chandramati. Why are you so nervous? That tailless monkey seemed to move. Does it make its happiness known by seeing you? What mom, are you kidding me? Aren't you the only one who teases me that I'm wandering? Perhaps the face in your mirror is that monkey's face or something. It's right at the door we came in. Look. The monkey is moving again. Chi Chi. Your lamp's shadow. It looks like a monkey moves when the lamp's shadow moves. Let's go. Let's see someone here. Then the monkey face must be visible in the mirror. If not, it may be the face of the owl sitting above. See how it wakes up at us. Why do you include me? That owl stares at you like that because of your beauty. Then, whose face is that looking back at themselves in the mirror? Hey! Have you decided that I'm paranoid? The face that often appears in my dreams may have appeared in the mirror as well. I'm sick of having to look at this monkey and owl with that beautiful face. Come on, let's go. 
I'll see if I recognize that face in the mirror one more time. The two women re-entered the other room by the way they had come. Vandiyadeva came out from behind the tailless monkey. He sneezed two or three times to clear the dust that had entered his nose. Wallaluk thanked the monkey for hiding him so well. Oh monkey! You live! The maid compared my face to yours. Then I was very angry. I even thought of coming out, but I restrained my mind. It was a good thing. If only you had not stood tall here, what would have been my fate? I would have been caught by those women. Monkey! You should be fine. As he finished saying this, he thought that even if he was caught by those women, nothing would have gone wrong. He had already guessed who they were. All the words they spoke fell on his ears. Moreover, she called Manamegali in a loud voice. Did she say something about the face she saw in her dream and the face she saw in the mirror, what was it? He remembered old incidents. Kanamaran has often told her that he has talked about himself. They remembered the last time when they had come to this mansion, when they saw her half-heartedly, and when Kanamaran told them that he was going to marry her in another big place. Maybe this ghost girl hasn't changed her mind, what? Now was not the time to think about it, look for the exit. An elephant-tusked path leads into that gate. So it is of no use to him. You have to find the way you came. He knew that there were different methods of opening the doors of secret passages from the inside and from the outside. Difficulty figuring out how to open it. But if we know where the secret passage is, can we find a way to open it? No matter how hard you stare at the wall, you can't see anything, the light is not enough. He remembered that there was a crocodile lying next to where he had entered. If you go there and scour the nearby wall, you might find a way out. Thinking like this, he went near the crocodile and rubbed the surrounding wall, but nothing helped. As time went by, the anxiety was increasing. What is this problem? Are you trapped in this prison? God! It seems that there is no other way but to enter that door. How many dangers there are if you enter that gate? Maybe Manamegali will sympathize with him. But what is the reason for her coming here secretly? I came because of my love for you. Can you say that? How cruel a lie would that be? Even if she dared to tell such a lie, would she believe it? What is certain that only Manamegali will be alone? Caught between other girls? Sambhuvarayar will kill himself if he knows? Again Vandiyadeva's attention went to the crocodile lying on the ground. He got angry at that. Crocodile! Why are you opening your mouth like this? Saying that, he gave it a kick. The crocodile moved a little when kicked. At the same time, there was a small crack in the floor along the side of the wall. Aha! Uh -huh. Are you blocking the way? You stupid crocodile! What's there to say in advance? Saying that, Vandiyadeva bent down and grabbed the crocodile and moved it. The hole in the side of the city wall of Crocodile City was getting bigger and steps were visible below.